LinkedIn is your go-to place for everything when you're in your MBA. Hey folks, this is Yang from Career School. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I usually talk about career development or interview people from cool roles. So please don't forget to subscribe and also like this video. Another massive thank you to everyone who have submitted uh, their questions on the Google Forms that I posted on LinkedIn. A lot of the questions I got was, you know, very random stuff, obviously, but I think some of the questions I got was, what should I do before joining my MBA as an international student? Or what should I do for my first year at MBA uh, as an international student? Or what are the things that I wish I'd known before joining MBA? So as you can see, a lot of the questions were around you know, what should I do before joining MBA? You know, is there anything that I should be aware of? You know, just try to get to know about the program and also, you know, getting prepared about your um, upcoming new um, experience that you would never forget for your rest of your life. There's going to be a lot of different things that you could prepare before joining MBA. But I think it kind of depends on what your goal is. So, First thing first, you want to set up a goal. What do you want to do? Let's assume that you are an international student from Korea, just like me, who are coming to the US to get your MBA degree. Is your goal to go back to Korea? Is your goal to own your own business, run your own business, or start your own business? Or is your goal to work here in the US after graduating from your MBA? So I think it kind of depends on where your goal should be you know, where, where you're at with your goal. But I would assume that people who are visiting this channel are more likely to want to stay in the U.S. to get a job um, in a, you know, great company um, here in the U.S. after graduating. So let me just start off from doing that. But first things first, what you should do before joining MBA is set a goal. Like, honestly, <laughs> I... The only goal I had before coming to the U.S. was, or the only thing I actually done before coming to the U.S. was set a goal. And that goal was to get a job in the U.S. in whatever industry, in whatever role, in whatever city. And it got more concrete. It got more detailed uh, throughout the whole time when I was in the MBA program. But I think having a pretty structured goal helps you um, when you are making decisions. So if your goal is to, let's say, work for Amazon, like your decisions that you make will be different from a person whose goal is to go back to Korea to get a job or to get a job in the US in consulting. So number one is number one, set your goal. And second is um, make a LinkedIn profile. I cannot express how important LinkedIn is, especially with the COVID uh, and remote working, remote schooling, everything. LinkedIn is your go-to place for everything when you're in your MBA. It should be your Instagram, it should be your Facebook, it should be your email, it should be your school. Like LinkedIn is basically everything that you should have. So having a strong profile from the beginning before getting into your MBA is, I think, is pretty important. I'm saying this because in Korea, we don't really use LinkedIn that often. A lot of my friends who work for awesome companies, they don't usually have LinkedIn profiles. They think LinkedIn is just like, oh, it's another Instagram thingy for professionals. Well, it is true, but it's just so much more than that once you do come to the US because everything is network-based here and LinkedIn will be your go-to place for everything related to professional things, job searching, like networking, everything. So create a LinkedIn profile and optimize it based on the goal that you have set. Now, how do I make a great LinkedIn profile? Um, I'll probably touch base on that in another video, but I think a really, really good way of doing is identify your goal and maybe identify the role that you want to be in in, I don't know, like 
two years of your after your after two years of your MBA and search those people like search people who work at Google, Amazon as a product manager and check out their LinkedIn profile and maybe use that as a benchmark to create your own LinkedIn profile, right? It will probably not be perfect, but I think it will be a good start uh, for you to start creating your own LinkedIn profile. Third thing, start networking with people. So when I say network with people, it basically means two things. One is actually build a relationship with these folks um, so that you know they could be your assets when you are closer to applying for your dream job. Second part is learn what they have done, learn what they are doing. Identify people who you want to talk to. Identify people who graduated from the school you're going to, or people who are in your similar background, or people who are in your dream companies or dream roles. And make connections and chat with those people to learn how they went from where you are at to where they are at in a short amount of time, which is that two years of MBA experience. Learn what they have done um, and also build a relationship with those folks. I'll guarantee you, a lot of people will be willing to help you. Of course, you will not be getting 100% return rate, but I will guarantee you a lot of the people will be willing to help you out. So for my case, let's say, I will be reaching out to people. Uh, let's say, hypothetically, this is 2017 um, summer when I first started my MBA. I would reach out to people who are in tech, who's Korean, who's in, let's say, product ma management or product marketing and ask them how they've done it. And they would empathize with your situation because they'd been in that same shoes a couple of years ago. So reach out to folks who are, in, um, who are from your background and who are in the dream companies, dream roles that you want to be in in a couple of years. So that is it. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of meant to make this as a short video for folks who have questions around you know, what you should do before coming into an MBA program. But uh, I think it went longer than I expected. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you hope this helps out. And if you have any questions around anything, just leave a comment and uh, I'll be, you know, right there to answer those. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Thank you.